Hi, Floss Tube. I'm Wendy Petrus, and welcome to my first Floss Tube. This is From the Heart Needle Art. I am the designer, and it has been a great ride. I started designing in 2011. Um, before that, I was a part of Forever in My Heart, and we started in 2000. So I took a break in the middle there for a few years, and because, you know, teenagers. And now I'm just designing by myself, and I'm loving it. It's been, been good. I really have enjoyed being a designer. Um, tell you a little bit about myself. Um, we have four kids, and they live close. I have eight grandkids, so that's you know good to have them close. We get to see them quite a bit. I'm right between my two girls that have one's north and one's south, and they're the ones that have my grandkids. So that's that's important. Um, my husband is retired. He's up mountain biking this afternoon, so I thought it'd be a good time to sit and try out how to do floss tube. Um, I'm in my craft room, and I have three big windows that look out over the front of the house. Um, there's my front porch. I have, you know, big comfy chairs to sit on, and I get to watch the neighborhood kids, you know, up and down the street, and so it's a lot of fun. Um, I want to share you a couple of older charts that I've done. I'll try and highlight a couple of them each time. The first one is Fairy Garden Needle Book, and it is a needle book, and there's a little scissor fob, and here's the back, and so kind of a fun little piece. It has a stitch piece to hold your wool felt for needles, and I also thought it would be fun to stitch this and make it into a drum. It would make a cute drum also. So, and that one will be in my Etsy shop. I'm gonna go ahead and just discount it 50%, and so you can, you know, check out what um, From the Heart designs are like. Um, this other one is a original sampler. It's dedicated to my grandma. She was a writer, and it has a little bit of her poetry on it which is fun. It's some fun alphabets and a fun little border. And this one is called the Francis Carter Sampler. And these will be um, on my Etsy shop um, for $4 a piece. And my Etsy shop is created from the heart. So easy to find. And in my Etsy shop you'll find um, older charts that aren't available anywhere else. Um, I do have all my older ones in stock and if someone you know messages me that they have found something they want I'll get that added. Shops are welcome to contact me and order um, from me for shops and that's how I deal with um, older charts. My new releases are just available through my distributor and from me um, through your shop. So that's how I, you know, support the shops. And once they are, um, my distributor doesn't carry them anymore, and then that's when we'll move them to my Etsy shop. So I'll show you a couple of new recent releases. These are the Sampler Petites. There are three parts, parts one, two, and three, and each one has three little smalls that, and with all of them complete, you have the whole alphabet. And they would also be perfect to just stitch all in one piece to have the whole thing that way. And I have, here's my little wood bowl that has all of them in it. This one's a favorite. I think it'd be fun to just stitch somebody's initials on it and you can have a, a sweet little gift or something. Here's another. I have a red house. So this was a fun project. I enjoyed stitching it and having it to display. Another pretty recent one is the Motif Minis. There's one and two. And these are, yes, that's the same frame. I got it on Amazon. And they are five inches square and finished. So I can interchange them in the frame. This one is a dedication sampler to my parents. It has their initials and the year they were married. And I think mom has her eye on this one, so we'll have to get another frame and get this sent off to her sometime. 
And then my most recent ones I'm so excited about, I've had a great time doing, are my reproduction samplers. The first there is, I'll show it this way, um, Alice Harris. This is the original antique. What was fun about this one, it um, had a framing sticker on it from Salt Lake City, Utah, which is about three hours away. And, you know, that's, to me, that's pretty local because that's where I, I have to, my closest needle workshops are is down in the Salt Lake area. So that's the antique. And here is my reproduction. And it has nice little over one verse and the deer are over one. But I found if I stitched the outline in a cross stitch and then I could fill in just with a tent stitch. And that made them so much easier and they went a lot faster than I was expecting them to go. And also with this one I did a couple of smalls. There's a just a small little framed piece. It would make a cute put on the front of a little stitching bag. This piece is stitched with the needlepoint ink silks. The big sampler is stitched with the sampler threads. And I wanted to stitch this to show you how it looked with the needlepoint silk version. And then there also is a DMC conversion. And this one also I did a different colorway. I thought the bottom section would be cute as a drum, so I redesigned it a little bit. I moved the, the berry bowls down to replace the deer because I figured stitching two of them was enough. And finished with Lady Dot Creates Chanel Trim. And so this has another, a new colorway that you could stitch the whole sampler in, you know, if you wanted. So that is Alice Harris. And the original is stitched in 1835. And the next one is the strawberry sampler. Here it is. This is the antique. You can see she used, you know, just bright, bright, pretty colors. Fun motifs. It was Eliza Clunas was the little stitcher on this one. She was 12. And it's just on this one. She stitched both the big alphabet and the borders in eyelet stitches. I figured I could get through the alphabet um, if I put stitch the borders in a smear and cross. So that is what I did there. And she left about four letters off her alphabet, so it, you know, it just whizzes by. Well, not whizzes, but you know, eyelet alphabets. It was better than it could have been. And this is the reproduction. Still a beautiful rich colors. This one, the sampler is stitched in the needlepoint ink silks, which turned out beautiful. And it's pictured this plus linen. And here is the, the chart. And it has a, a drum. That's the first few rows of the sampler and it is trimmed with Lady Dot Creates Chenille and the needle book and this are both stitched in the Weeks Dye Works version. So you can see, you know, if you want to stitch it in cottons, this is what it looks like. If you want to stitch it in the silks, that's what the sampler is. So lots of options. Um, so and these are on their way to my distributor right now. So your shops will be able to order them. There are a few shops that have them already in stock. Um, Sassy Jacks, Shakespeare's Peddler. So if you want those, other places are taking pre-orders I've seen. So go ahead and get a hold of them. So it's been fun to visit you. I will have to see how often we do this. Um, one, I give you a peek at what's coming soon. This in my House of Stitch and Stash bag, a little peek of the top of the next sampler. It is called Hannah Hetherington, 
and it has 40 motifs. It was so fun. I just got started stitching it. But before the threads came for that, I had an afternoon to stitch on another project, another designer. So I brought out hats off to Uncle Sam. And there's my start and my finish. Now I just need to fully finish it, and I'll put it into a drum. We'll either, I'd like to have it finished nice enough. I can do the herringbone stitch around the top like they have. If not, we'll pull out the Lady Dot Creates trim, and that works good for the others. So that was fun. I, um, let's see, what else? I'll look at my notes. Oh, I just started a From the Heart Stitchers group on Facebook, so you can find that and join us. But that's where you'll see other hints and peeks of what I have coming up. You can follow me on Instagram, Stitching from the Heart, and use the hashtag From the Heart Needle Art to tag your stitches. And I better go. I've got charts I need to get ready to ship out this afternoon. But thanks for watching. It's fun to have you here in my craft room. And I'd love to have you comment where you're from so I can get to know and see where your viewers are from. See ya.